He really, he really never changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, you're dark. I like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. You know what? Try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. Alright. You know what to do. Uh, no I don't. Um, I'm, I'm freaking out. Um, I remember what it used to be. Maybe it's size profile. No. Um, um, log. Screw it. Hold on guys, I'm gonna go look up in a previous video what he wanted me to add. Okay, I looked up. Uh it's supposed to have wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. It's supposed to have tea. Ginger. Let's do milk. Please be it. Latte art. Um, let's do... Uh, some... Wait, no. I got it. Let's do... It's like a mouth. Rawr. Because he's a werewolf. I tried. Try this. Thank you. Tastes just like I asked. Too bad it's not it. God dang it. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Can it help overhearing you both? Sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Uh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I've had I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple, really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time, we didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. Then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously he was too drunk to drive. So I held a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. I was stuck with him until morning. Ha ha ha. Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sent me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a, jo a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. 
It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, uh, I see. So, how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed... I... I'd prefer it if we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with... something. Let's just say... Something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't even expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, you're dar. I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Uh, alright, tea. Let's milk. Uh, milk is warm and cool. Honey, lemon, mint, uh, raise it to that. Milk, uh, Just add more milk. Of course, we gotta do the art. Um, there we go. Vampire fangs, obviously. Wait, oh, this is great. There, vampire fangs in a mouth, obviously. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Oh, is that her? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. Ha <laughs> ha Good to see you too, Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is it how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. Heh. <laughs> I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. Burn. You... You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Europe Dar my draft. I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. Please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admitting life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects their income. Also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations. I grow through what we do and how much it would cost them. 
Kind of like biz dev for people's lives, then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gives very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Auto people rarely talk about your kind of job. I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly. It's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We really talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You... He's a bit less loyal, though. Hi. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy. Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions. Mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It's nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. He's just vibing. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Yerptar. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. No, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. You were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how do you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh, alright then. We went in this place back when it was a bar some time later. Well, never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, it's not the, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this? A very physical job to medic. Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now, but you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously, he doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya? Come on. I won't get into details, but going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength, so he only did work that relied on his muscle. I wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. It was the only thing he could do, or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard, and we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. After a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone. Seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. 
but I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in life. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. Not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... Hey! Good evening, everyone. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We're also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil? Yes, Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. From what we have learned here, Seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthlings' efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hi. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle? Yeah. Oh, you're not from around here? Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away? By far away, you mean a few thousand miles? Or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? Do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw. When we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Aramy Jen Drew album cover? No wonder you look familiar. As for what we were doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So, anything? Yes, we don't want to taste, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you'll be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Alright, what do you think would just, like, kill? Uh, we got coffee. Maybe we should go for something bitter. Or sweet. I think going, like, full bitter or sweet would be the right thing. But which one? And honey. Serve. Cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. Psst. What the... Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Oh boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That's de that definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. Turns out pervs exist in everywhere in the universe. Ha 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 ha. Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. 
oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Aw, oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We can't say it is going well. well let's check our, uh, Tomodachi. Hi. Oh, he's been blood sober for 10 years. Entrepreneur, capitalist. Alright, wait. Someone else? Neil. Huh. I'm not surprised. It's how quirky and unique you are. Not many women can handle that. Can you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decide to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If it got you a good story. Ha 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 Oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I go on a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I got that. I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories. But I only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many earthlings mate with one person exclusively, exclusively for their, in, their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. And why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of, of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? Ha 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 ha. First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, you start by dating boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now, the path to starting to date varies between people. But usually, it takes some time before you want to commit to yourself to someone. Wow. The bringing process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure? All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms. But how do your kind have sex? Like, 
seeing how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, that's true. How do you do it? We use pretty, we are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want, I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. You will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research. We tried it on the, the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed, after all. It's really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And they mistook Miss Marital for their date. Game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It's pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy, to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow, so I'm off. So I'm off for the day. Are you leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Heh. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Hint, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. <laughs> 